The four Jungian archetypes undergoing personal and spiritual evolution. Hi everyone, the Jungian archetypes are to be the effective tool for spiritual evolution. It can help us reach our full potential in life. Thus, it becomes a suggestion for a personal life in which it contains four main archetype elements. These archetypes give a model for habits and influence your thinking and action. It becomes a self-enchantment, shadow and animus. How do these archetypes affect your personal and spiritual evolution? These archetypes contain personality elements that you can comprehend for developing your healthy personality. Working with these archetypes can help you select your actions rather than responding automatically to your pattern. In other words, you can reach spirituality on a whole new level. But before moving further, if you enjoy watching this video, please help this channel grow by sharing this video with your friends and relatives. And don't forget to subscribe if you are new here. 1. Shadow a personal quality that you reject and force will not disappear, but resides in the unconscious. Thus, it can be described to be a shadow. The basic pattern is often reflected to be a dark side of the soul. It represents wildness, disorders, and the unknown. You may suppress your desires and qualities because people dislike that part of you, or you want to protect yourself from emotional danger and physical violence. For example, when a child is suppressing their emotions strongly, like anger or sadness, he or she may be afraid that these disturbing emotions would cause trouble for family members. Later, when we need to force these repressed qualities out, the shadow may appear in our dreams. It seems to occur to be snakes, devils, monsters or other wild figures. Or, based on our interest, it may appear as villains in the movie or something we recognize as dark. If you are experiencing this shadow archetype, it often becomes a sign that you are ready to start a new cycle of life. According to Jung, accepting and integrating our shadow aspects is the first crucial step to growing our spirituals. 2. Anima or Animus When you have integrated with your shadow, you may find anima or animus elements appearing in your awareness. Anima is a feminine aspect of the male's awareness, while the animus is a male aspect of the female's awareness. We are a balance of masculine and feminine energies. In order to become whole, we must embrace both elements because it complements each other like yin and yang. A man might become too impulsive without the feminine nurturing aspect, vice versa. A woman might become too passive without the masculine element. 3. The Persona After discussing shadow and anima and animus, the next step in spiritual evolution is the basic patterns of persona. It's a way how you show yourself to the world. The persona could also mean a mask or a facade. Everyone has a certain mask they use to interact socially in some situations. For example, in your workplace, in social gatherings, or in your family. We often develop a facade to be of what others encouraged, overlapping our real traits others didn't approve of. In this case, a persona will contain an element of people-pleasing. You must be careful in identifying or displaying your persona because it can really affect your spiritual growth. Remember that our personas aren't who we really are. On the other hand, if you're only fixed into one persona, i.e. a workaholic, then you might need to develop other aspects of your personality. 4. Self The self archetype is often described to be the wise. It's said that you have finally achieved a well-developed self. If you dream of a wise figure, it's a good indication in which you are on the right track to reach this integration. You may find yourself identifying with the wise characters in films, television and books, and you treat them as a good mentor for your development. Finally, suppose a certain archetype resonates with you. In that case, you may be able to figure out in which state you are currently in. And now you can determine which area of your life needs improvements or evaluations. Well, what do you think of this video? Do you think this information is accurate and helpful? If so, don't hesitate to tell us your stories in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and activate the notification bell to follow our subsequent video updates. Thanks for watching.